In 2023, I definitely shopped a lot. And I know I made a lot of shopping mistakes. I bought a lot of things that I just didn't like. But equally so, there were many purchases that I really love and I wear constantly on rotation. So in today's video, we're gonna be talking about the best and worst purchases of 2023 because it's just good to analyze, just so you know how you can be more intentional with your shopping habits and obviously your goals for 2024. All right, before we get to that, if you're new here, welcome. Hi, my name is Teshna. I upload weekly videos on fashion, styling, intentional shopping, intentional living, and just in lifestyle stuff as well. So if you do like that sort of content, then consider hitting that subscribe button below just so you can keep up to date when I post a new video. Guys, if you're returning, if you're a regular of mine, you can see that I have a new backdrop. Um, I've just moved house, so um, I'm still figuring things out. I'm just having fun and I'm playing around with different backdrops. So don't be surprised if you keep seeing like me in a new location, all right? So let's just jump into the first um, best purchase and it's definitely have to be this blazer, come on. Let me just hear like a little applause going, ah! Let me tell you guys, I rave on about this blazer in every single video, so I'm sure if you're returning, you're like, oh, girl, please, I've, I heard that last week. But honestly, I bought this striped blazer in Italy um, when I went on holiday, and I bought a bunch of things. You will see them. And this still remains one of my best purchases because I wear it so much more than all my other blazers. And it's very much surprising to me because when I, I was like, striped blazer, I'm sure I'm not gonna wear that, you know? It's so formal. But I tried it on and instantly fell in love and I just love the silhouette. Like, let me tell you, if you haven't reflected on things that you liked in 2023, I definitely advise you to do so because it teaches you what you like and what's so important about how a garment fits. Now, I tell you, they know how to do a fit. Like, this blazer fits the structure of it, the shoulder, like the silhouette. It's just just kissing me. And One of my best purchases is this vest top here. And I even shot myself because I also bought this in Italy. There'll be a lot of Italy things that I bought. But this was maybe like two euros or something. I bought this in one of those thrifted, you know, like those sort of pop-up um, shops that they have and you kind of just weigh it on a scale and pay however much you weigh. So I bought this amongst many other things, but I absolutely love it because it just adds some personality to my outfit. It adds some character, some dimension. Um, rather than just being like a plain t-shirt, I normally just add this on top and I really feel like it's like an accessory at this point. In talking about vintage and thrifted items, one of the things that I absolutely loved in 2023 is this A-line dress. And I know this is more on the summer vibes, but let me tell you, I got this in a vintage pop-up and this is a black and, sorry, white and pink um, striped dress A-line, very kind of 60s. I love, love, love the cut. And the funny thing about this, I didn't know how to style this. I only knew how to style it one way. And it's so interesting to me that I knew how to style it one way but I wore it so many times. I didn't care. If I had different brunches, different like meetups, I will wear that same dress to just different locations. I really need to get me some more stuff like that because that is my introduction into like that sort of retro vibe. I love that. I just, ugh. it was one of my favorite things that I bought. Okay. So moving into other things that I really loved this year is this yellow linen um, top shirt that I got from H&M. I know this is summer, but we're looking at the whole year. Let me tell you, this yellow shirt, I wore to death. I wore it with everything. And that was my sort of intro into like, into that yellow butter color trend. I ended up buying a card, yellow cardigan because of that same shirt, because of how much I wore it, how much I loved it. And I was very surprised of the versatility of it. And I think once you buy one item that you can wear in multiple ways, and you can get so much out of it, it instantly, you gravitate towards it. So I think I'm definitely gonna be getting another one this year. In 2023, I became best buddies with Uniqlo. <laughs> we were in like, you know, a distant acquaintance relationship, but we became instant friends. I, the Uniqlo C collection, I bought shit ton, but I'm not even gonna mention all of it because you've seen it if you watch my videos, but I love this orange zip top that I wore so much because it's very casual, very chic, but also, um kind of gave me that sporty vibe um at least i wore it that way anyways this orange it came with like the, the matching skirt and i regret not buying the matching skirt because yeah i should have bought the matching skirt i don't know what i was doing 
Anyways, I wear it so much. I wear it often. It's I think it's like lamb's wool or something. You know, Uniqlo really it really be doing it for me. Like yeah, you, I love Uniqlo so much. The next thing I absolutely loved. Um, I shopped a lot more in cars. There's two things that I bought in cars that I absolutely love. Um, one not so much. This um balloon type trousers is like a cream pants. Especially now spring is on its way. Maybe it's a bit further away, but I'm I'm bringing it closer. I wore this pant so much and the reason why I liked it is because of my first time trying out a different type of silhouette. I would never really thought of buying like a balloon shape um, pants before and I didn't know why I loved it and I actually I would look back and I was like oh it's the shape it's the cut and obviously cars do their things are very much more chic um, very much more put together and very sleek and stylish and obviously modern. All those things in this one pair of trousers that I've just described and it was very very comfortable and relaxed. Um, the next thing I bought from Cuz was this sort of crop jacket and I love the structure of it, this black crop crop jacket and it's great if you don't want to wear a blazer, you don't want to wear a denim jacket. You know these crop jackets are really on trend and I got this one from Cuz, I think Zara did something similar but um, I wore it a lot and especially in that in between weather, oh I've rocked it so much. Next best purchases, I think, definitely the Zara jeans. Like, I bought a lot of jeans and I had to return most of them. But this jeans, once I got it tailored, I fell in love with it because of this the design of it. I realized I like a crop flare. It did have like the the frayed hem, which looked nice. But um, I cut it. I got, I got it tailored. And this is kind of my only pair of like mid wash jeans that I wear. I'm obviously on the hunt. I'm gonna get a Levi's. But this I wore so much and it became an integral part of my capsule wardrobe. And yeah, it's just nice when you find a good pair of denim jeans that actually fits your body type or that you like. And it's been a hard hunt for me to find jeans that I like. Moving into accessories, my favorite ones were definitely these caps. How cute are these? These are just so, oh my God, I love them so much. Pick this up in TK Maxx. I bought one first and then I had to go back and get a different color because they just add pops of color to my outfit. And they are like very street style chic. I love that street style kind of look. I'm definitely a baseball cap type of girl. I have a lot, to, you know, these are just added to my collection. But I wore these on rotation so often and I just love them. Next best one is for accessories are these sort of 70s aviator glasses. Let me put them on now because you know, look at these. Oh, got these from Amazon and I freaking love these. I wore these so much. I wore this, oh my God, I wore this over and over again. I'll have to link them below. These are so fun and I actually played sports in these, you know, me and my little self, and they don't fall off at all. They just fit so snug around you, like your, um, you know, on your face. You can, you know, put your head down sideways, whatever, running them. They just stay on, and of course, they just add that retro vibe and personality to your outfit. So, how cute is this? How cute is this? Oh my god, this is so freaking cute. You would have seen this over and over again in my video because it's definitely one of those ones that I absolutely love. Purchased this in Italy as well. That same one trip was, oh, that was my best shopping trip ever. This metallic bag goes with everything. It is leather and it's just small, compact and very cute, very on trend with my style. And this was me dipping my little pinky toe into metallic trend, but I only just bought it because I really liked it. But it pairs so beautifully with everything that i have in my closet so it's such a versatile bag that i'm um, it was definitely one of my best best purchases of all time for sure these loafers definitely new in i got them from tk maxx again because tk maxx be having a lot of like really cute things that you find from other brands i swear this necklace is gonna annoy me i swear <laughs> but these are like a little bit chunkier for me i know i uploaded a video and guys like oh it's not that chunky but for me these are chunky because I'm used to like my little tapered slim line loafers, but this was me like venturing into more like a square toe, a bit more more heavier, you know, a little bit more weighty. And they kind of remind me of like that sort of grandma, like old school church kind of shoes. That's how they remind me of. But they look really nice with like um, satin skirts and your um, my jeans. They just kind of add that sort of juxtaposition to my outfit and also very chic as well. So moving on to worst purchase, I'm gonna keep this at a minimal because I don't want this video to be too long. But it's actually a very surprise. It's surprising to me. It will be surprising to you too, right? Look at this blazer. There's nothing wrong with it. It's so chic, it's so cute. 
but in real life i don't actually wear this i i do use this in my videos for outfits and stuff to give you guys um in, outfit inspiration but i don't actually reach for this i feel like when i wear this i feel like i'm copying somebody else's style you know and i didn't i couldn't put my finger on it but that's what it feels like i bought this from nakd loved it at the time because i was on a blazer hunt i was buying a shit loads of blazers at the time and i love how neutral this is it's not too warm it's not too cold um but when i put it on i just feel so corporate core and i do feel like i don't know it just doesn't feel like me <sighs> you know when something's just not quite there it's not quite given so i definitely this is definitely one of my worst purchases another worst purchase of mine y'all yeah, not gonna be surprised <laughs> is this striped top here like from h and m and i've been forcing this in my videos the last last one you see me chucking this on my shoulder because that's the only way i wear it i only put this over my shoulder because the quality is terrible and it when you fit it when you fit it i hate how it looks i mean when i first bought it i even featured it in the haul i really i really dislike how it looks on i think i'm gonna take a break from stripes as well i know stripes is like you know the thing i mean chic girl where you see it in every capsule wardrobe but i really i really kind of dislike this one but I do like it over my shoulders, so that's how I am repurposing it. Um, another one of my worst purchases, I've already decluttered it already, is actually this black trousers from Cos. And this is a very popular trousers. For one, it was too short. I liked how, um, I liked the idea of it. And I did, I did force it in my videos. I did force wearing it. But you know you have certain outfits that are very mirror ready versus like real life. Whenever I wore that outfit, um, the sh it was already too short, but whenever I wore it out in person, when the wind blows, it will just make my ankle look really weird, and I hated the look of it when the wind started blowing. I just, I just didn't like it. Um, it's really chic pants, and I recommend it for people who are like five foot five and under. <laughs> but if you're like five foot six and over, forget about it. It's too short. When it comes to jeans, one of my worst purchases, which I've also just uh, decluttered, is this straight split hem jeans that I got from Zara. It fit perfect. Like, I didn't need to tailor it. I didn't need to do anything. It fit really nice. But it just wasn't giving. I tried so hard to wear it, but it was too hard to style. I just felt like it was look. It looked off. It looked really off. And it's just such a shame because the fit was just gorgeous. But, um, so I ended up decluttering it and selling it on Vinted. Vinted got a lot of my things because I just, it just wasn't, wasn't working out for me. And next, worst purchase. And this one is questionable because I'm like, am I being too impulsive? Are these Puma trainers here? These are the platform ones. And I like the idea of them, but in real life, I just don't really wear them as much because for one, they're not really, they're not uncomfortable, but they're not that comfortable. They're kind of in, in between. I wish I just got some plain, regular old, stegler boring white trainers that are flat to the surface. Because I struggle to style these sometimes if it's not with certain items. Whereas if you have like a plain white trainers, it can go with anything and everything. These Puma ones are... Uh, if I have to think about styling them too often, I'm just like, oh no, that, that's just too much heartache for me. Um, and if I think about wearing them on long distances, uh, I'm like, oh no. So these, I'm still gonna wear them because I bought them, but in the future, I think I might just give the platform um, trainers a little, a little bligh. I think I might just, yeah. But that's another, yeah, I would say that's the last one. I've got so many things that I just, I can I can go on about worst purchases for a long time because I did clattered so much for 2023. So hopefully this year can be a lot more intentional. I would love to hear what your worst purchases were and why you hated them. And how you feel about these types of videos anyways leave them in the comments below and if you want to stick around for more content check out these videos here i'll have a lot more content for you over here thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in these videos here